Okay, we will be doing some word problems because this is part of uh, brief calculus and the uses of this stuff. And most of we're still in the algebra phase and it says production costs. It says suppose the cost of manufacturing Q units of a certain product is, we've given the formula, C of Q. Now, C of Q is the cost of producing Q units. So, and that happens to be your dependent variable, essentially that's your y value. And then Q is the uh, number of units produced. And they didn't tell us essentially what any of these things are, except they say that uh, cost is in thousands of dollars. And I would assume that Q is in numbers of units, whatever that is. So, and then Q would be your independent variable. So it says, find the total cost of producing 10 units. Well, total cost at C of Q is total cost. So what I'm really looking for in this instance is C of 10, because this means that Q equals 10. So I'm gonna put in X, get out Y. This is gonna be 10 cubed minus 30 times 10 squared plus 400 times 10 plus 500, and that's gonna be in thousands of dollars um, in the end. And then using my handy dandy little calculator, it comes out to be 2,500. Now the units is uh, thousands. And if you wanted to, instead of using the word thousand, you could put three zeros behind that and uh, that would tell you it's what, 2.5 million. Find the average cost of producing 10 units. Now, average cost is going to be the cost divided by the number of units. So what this ends up being is the cost of producing 10 units divided by 10. Well, the cost of producing 10 units is 2,500, 2,500,000 $2, divided by 10. And the 10 takes that out. So this is gonna be 250,000. $250,000. Find the cost of producing the 10th unit. Now, we're only interested in not producing, now remember C of Q is the total cost of producing 10, so that's one through 10. I'm only interested in the 10th unit, so that says I would wanna know what is the cost Of the, of the first 10 subtract the cost of the first nine. So I put 10 in, I know what this number is. So if I put 10 into uh, of C of Q, I know it's 2,500,000. And if I put nine in, and again, using my handy dandy little calculator, it comes out to 23.99. And if I subtract the two, I get 101. And again, this is going to be 1,000. Okay. 